Today, we are talking different woods and the flavors they produce. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin, and today I'm answering the question I've been seeing pop up a lot lately. How can you tell the difference between different wood and the flavors they produce? And for most of us backyard barbecue warriors, the answer is, it's really hard to tell the difference between the different peach, apple, cherry, hickory, mesquite. All right, so let's dive into that for a minute. Now, this is just my personal opinion, things I've experienced over the years, and I'm just here to share with you. If you want to really dial in and understand hickory, mesquite, apple, cherry, oak, the best way to do that is to take a week off of work and every single day cook the same thing using different woods and taking really good notes to pick up on the flavor profile. For most of us weekend warriors, you know, sometimes we only cook twice a month. It's really hard to tell the difference between oak and hickory or apple and cherry. Our palates probably won't pick up that difference. So don't worry about it too much. Here's what I'll say. Apple cherry for me all day long, my palate just seems to love that wood and the smoke taste it produces. Hickory, I have to be careful of what I use it on because sometimes when I use hickory, I just really taste a lot of smoke flavor and it can be very overwhelming. Now, mesquite, I don't know how Texas does it, but that is their tried and true for a lot of brisket. And I know for a fact, well, through the grapevine, that Texas barbecue is top notch. So they've found a way to just make mesquite awesome. Whenever I use mesquite, it's just not for me. I don't know what happens. I think I'm using it on the wrong protein. And when you use different woods on the wrong protein, it can create different flavors that do not pair well. So when I bite into mesquite, it's creating this metallic taste for me. Now for me, it doesn't matter whether it's beef, pork butt, spare ribs, doesn't matter. I just, that mesquite hits my palate totally wrong, but apple and cherry hits it perfect. So it's up to you to decide, not through what you read online or see in a video, but what woods do you like best? My tried and true always comes down to oak. That's a very neutral flavor for me. It gives that good wood flavor close to hickory, but not as overpowering as hickory can be if you choose it with the wrong meat. Apple cherry seems anything I use that for. I love it, my family loves it. It's just that milder, all right? So when you think about it from this way, apple, cherry, your real big name fruits, peach, pecan, they're going to produce a milder smoke flavor. At least that's what it's done for me. Oak starts to get to your middle to upper range of more smoke flavor. That leads you to hickory and mesquite. All right, that's going to produce the most powerful smoke taste when you're biting into your food. So let me know in the comments below, what do you like best? What is your tried and true for making great barbecue? Is there a meat I should try to nail with mesquite? Leave a comment below. What I wanna leave you with is, just because it says apple wood, don't be under the assumption that you're going to be tasting apples, all right? You're still gonna be tasting smoke, but it's probably gonna be a milder smoke. All right, so if you're using apple or cherry and you're trying to decide, I really can't taste the apple or the cherry, that's not to be expected. Some people might get that if they have really sophisticated palates, uh, but most of the people I know, they just know, damn, that tastes good. That's nice and smoky. I like that flavor. What did you use? All right, and the most important thing you can do is take good notes. This is your key to figuring out what you like best, not what somebody wrote on Facebook about what was the best for them. For you, for your family, what you like best, you really need to take good notes. You don't even need this. You can get a regular notepad at the store for two bucks, all right? Just take good notes, refer to those notes, and you're going to be on your way to making great barbecue. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, click on the subscribe, and share this with some friends so that they can get a better understanding of what they're dealing with in the backyard. As always, I hope you guys are doing great, and I'll see you very soon.